Hi, my name is Eva Kinsun. I'm a nurse by profession and I work office hours throughout the weekdays. I have successfully breastfed two of my beautiful children. The eldest one was still she was four years old and the second one was till he was three years old. Hello, my name is Farisha Natasha. I'm a full-time working mom. I have a daughter and I have been breastfed her for almost eight months now. Hi, saya Nurul. Saya seorang ibu pekerja shift. Saya mempunyai tiga orang anak. Anak pertama saya berumur lima tahun, anak kedua saya berumur dua tahun, dan anak ketiga saya berumur empat bulan. Saya sudah menyusui tiga-tiga anak saya. Yang pertama selama dua tahun setengah, yang nombor dua satu tahun setengah, dan alhamdulillah yang nombor tiga itu sampai sekarang saya menyusukan dia secara fully breastfeeding. Hi, I'm Edith. Okay, I'm a um, mother of two and actually I successfully breastfeed my both child for one year. Uh, there are definitely a few challenges throughout the journey. First for me was uh, the timing for me to do pumping. I, I am not able to do it two to three hours, so I just pump whenever I could, 30 minutes for every session. And in the night, I would wake up to do power pumping um, at around 12 to 2 a.m. just to uh, meet up the supply and uh, demand uh, process. Uh, and of course, one more is back egg, definitely. <laughs> So challenges yang I face as a pumping mother since saya duduk dekat office area, admin area, uh, usually itu timing pumping uh, selalu lari. Usually I have to pump around three to four hours, but kalau busy boleh ter extend so my supply could be drop lah kalau saya lambat pump. Okay, sebagai seorang nurse, cabaran yang saya hadapi sebagai ibu yang menyusui anak adalah sesi mengepam di mana saya tidak dapat uh, mengepam mengikut jadual yang telah ditetapkan. The challenges for me and I'm a midwife and for sure everybody know if a midwife working in labor room, the delivery have no specific time. So especially for me, the challenges actually is a time where I cannot express my breast milk on time. It's ever happened where actually I should pump, but then I have a patient who is delivering and happened to be my breast pad full and soaked. So what I do, I just finish my task. After everything done, I straight away go and do breast pump. So, um, the motivation uh, which kept me going, breastfeeding, is um, first, happy baby. Breastfed babies are always happy baby. Uh, second one is, um, uh, health benefits of uh, breastfed babies and the third one is definitely Jimat do it. So my motivation to keep going breastfeed my daughter is first one the special bonding I have with my daughter because my time dengan my daughter only kalau di weekdays after saya balik kerja saja. Second one of course cut cost. Uh, saya tidak perlu beli formula. The third one is the antibody baby. Usually orang uh, baby yang breastfeed dia punya antibody lagi kuat lah. Salah satu motivasi saya meneruskan penyusuan adalah kerana susu ibu mempunyai khasiat yang terbaik, terutama untuk meningkatkan imunisasi anak saya. Now we talk about motivation to keep going of breastfeeding. For me. First thing, um, the time is priceless where we can't realize actually when we, our baby are growing so fast. So actually during breastfeeding is the best time and the best moment for us to 
to be together with our baby and also it's cheap no need to waste money to buy milk powder also for me it's easy whenever i go travel no need for me to carry a lot of thing i just bring my body myself and i can go travel with my baby now tips um for working mamas out there number one is your partner your husband they have to be very uh, supportive to what you are doing both of you have to have the same goal in order to make it work for those who have parents around parents also play a very important role they support you uh, of doing this uh, and the third one for me is community find a community which supports you which also breastfeeding their children which shares their ups and downs and tips so yeah all these three is are important tips for all of you okay tips or advice uh, yang saya boleh kasih is first for pumping mother please get a good and suitable pump for yourself second one drink a lot a lot of water it helps your supply and the third one is just keep going kalau penat macam mana pun just keep breastfeed your baby Okay, tips untuk uh, ibu yang bekerja yang masih menyusahkan anak adalah kita kena sentiasa berfikiran positif jangan membandingkan jumlah susu yang kita dapat dengan orang lain yang nombor dua invest for good uh, breast pump Okay, so a tips from me for a working mother first you have to stop milk and also be flexible where to pump when you already start working happy world breastfeeding week happy world breastfeeding week happy world breastfeeding week happy breastfeeding week, happy breastfeeding week.